Hey, 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 what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Anzi D here with you, and I want to do another quick video about stimulus check and about a stimulus check happening in the year 2022, and that could be a stimulus check that's worth looking out for. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Once again, it's Anzi D. Make sure you like, hit subscribe, and make sure you comment on the bottom. Let me know what you think about another stimulus check or a $1,400 stimulus check that is made available to many Americans. And what we're talking about is the $1,400, the deal from back in 2020, you know, end of 2020, 21, where it makes $1,400 stimulus check available to those who have dependents. And what I'm talking about is for the year 2021, they passed a bill that allows people to get $1,400 per individual, whether it be dependent, whether it be per person or such and such. So what we have going into 2022 are for those parents, for people who are new parents, who had children in the year 2021 and um, are eligible, what you are eligible to do is when you file your 2021 income tax, you're eligible and have access to $1,400 payment. That's the, that's the $1,400 payment available for individuals and their dependent children. So what that makes it happen is if in 2021, the payment went out early 2021, you know, between January and March. So if you had a baby after that, you're now eligible to have the $1,400 from the recovery rebate credit. And that was a tax credit that give uh, $1,400 per dependent. And that was from the early 2021. And what's happening is because the economic income pack payments hit certain people's bank account, but certain people at the time were, um, you know, maybe pregnant and the baby wasn't born yet. So now that the baby is born and the baby was born in 2021, when you file your 2021 income tax, you can claim this $1,400 tax income rebate and it should be payable into your um, tax return paycheck. And every state should be doing this. Um, it should be nothing with the states or anything like that. This should be through the IRS. So once you file your income tax through the IRS, say, yes, you did have a dependent um, you did have a child in 2021, so you are eligible for the $1,400 stimulus pack payment, stimulus package payment from the um, CARES Act. Also, for those who did have a child in um, 2021, you should also be eligible for those tax credit, those um, $250 to $300 tax credit, with means which means that if you did have a child, your child is under the age of five years old. So they'll be eligible for the $300 a month, which has started being paid out in July of 2021. So from July of 2021 up until December of 2021, you should be eligible also for that um, amount if you recently had a child in 2021. So that gives you, I believe about another $1,800 that should be um, tax credit to you for the um, I forgot what it was called, but it's a tax credit, child tax credit, which was paid out in 2021, um, $250 to $300 per child. So if you, like I said, if you had a child in 2021, that would be about $300 per month for six months. So it works out to about $1,800. So now if we look at it, the $1,800 plus the uh, $1,400 that's um, eligible for those who had children in 2021, it should be able to, well, I'm sure they're not going to pay um, together, but you'd be eligible to have the lump sum, the tax credit paid a lump sum, and you should also have the $1,400 stimulus package um, check available to you at um, once you file your tax return. So once again, um, in terms of other people, uh, for a forced stimulus check, they're still on the, the, they're still on the boards about that. They're still debating it, um, going back and forth to Congress. Um, some of the stuff they might have to take out and do an executive order or a separate bill, such as um, the child tax credit um, and other things. Um, Social Security, Social Security will have an increase actually this year of, uh, I believe, 5.9%, 4.9%. Um, yeah, I believe about 4.9%. So that's about... Um, if you was making about, if you was getting home $800 a month, that should bring you to about an extra 40 to $50 a month into your income tax, into your IRS or SSI or SSDI payment that you get monthly. So once again, we're still talking about the Build Back American um, Recovery Bill, um, Build Back Better Bill, and another stimulus check is on their way for some people 
And for others who already received different payments of the um, stimulus check of the CARES Act of the economic impact payments, for those who have already received theirs in um, the previous years, you know, 2020, 2021, they are trying to work on another bill because of the rise of the different cases. They are trying to work on another bill. So you do have some people in Congress trying to work on a bill of about $2,000 payout and I think about um, five or $600 per dependent. So we're gonna see how that works. It might be a separate bill and um, it might be a separate bill other than, than the Build Back American Act. And also you still have some Congress people that's also pushing for more stimulus check in terms of unemployment, rental assistant, um, cutting back on um, uh, cutting back on higher education payments. So if you have student loans, they want to cut back on that or cut back on the interest. So they still have some things in works. Um, Senator Bernie Sanders coming back to the table again to put some things on the table to vote on. And hopefully right now, a lot of the Democrats is trying to get to Senator Joe Manchin of uh, West Virginia because he was the main one that was holding up the um, bill better build back better bill <laughs> i guess that's the name of it build back better bill it's like you know a lot of b so that that one right there so i guess um a lot of democrats including the president joe biden you know trying to communicate with senator joe manchin trying to work out something so they could get something even just um maybe something for the child cares act um with the child credit you know so um parents continue to get money for child care or to help out with food and different things that comes with these different bills that's rising, you know, with uh, inflation and whatever else that's going on. So once again, it's NZD. Hope you got some value out of this. Remember those who did have a, a child in 2021, you are eligible for, for the $1,400. That's the fourth, that's the $1,400 stimulus check that was paid out to many back in 2021. You are able to have it and it is available to you because you have a dependent that was born in 2021. So once again, make sure you put that on your um, income tax. I'm not a tax preparer. I'm not a uh, tax provider. I'm not a none of that. You can probably check my tax preparer, more Willis taxes, more Willis taxes. Shout out to more Willis taxes. You can check them out. And uh, if you're in the Connecticut, New York area and, uh, you know, talk to your tax professional ask them what you can you do you know and contact your state see what's available for you in terms of other stimulus so once again it's angie d hope you got some value out of this please like comment and share and i'll see you next time continue to be safe peace